Ladies and gentlemen, when the admins of Hypixel Skyblock stated that they wanted to update the game more quickly, I didn't think that we would see results this fast. Another major update has been released today, and it is a pretty nice one for pretty much every player. Let's launch right into it. Starting off here, the admins state, quote, Hey, Gabagool price landed a lot higher than we predicted, excluding a lot of players from this economic niche. As a solution, we've reduced the RNG element of running hypergolic fuel by introducing a new combat collection, Chili Pepper. There are also some general changes to Blaze Slayer to make it a slightly less infernal experience. So starting off with the general changes, we have the Kelvin Inverter now having a 100k MBC price, the Blaze Tech Radio range has been increased to 55 blocks, and Saur Armor copped a fat nerf, going from a lot of true defense to much less. Now it's 50, 80, 70, and 40, which is significantly reduced from like the 200 and 100 values that they were previously. The Wisp Pet has received some changes, the Blaze Combat XP has been increased by 10% across the board for all rarities, so now it's 30, 40, 45, and 50. True defense on the Wisp Pet has been increased by 5, and the Cold Fusion perk has been renamed to Ephemeral Stability. The Inferno Minion has received a ton of changes here, and now gets the max Inferno buff at 10 minions, meaning you'll need less of them. The drop rate for hypergolic unique drops, like the Inferno Apex, the Reaper Pepper, they've been increased by 10%. This is going to make a lot of people happy. And on top of this, they now drop the Chili Pepper, which is that new collection that I was talking about. And on screen now, you can see all the things that you can get from this collection. There's a new couple of enchanted books, and there's also the Cayenne thing that I've also seen. Although I don't necessarily have my hands on it right now, I will be sure to tell you guys about it as soon as I do. Expired Hypergolic Fuels now always drop a Hypergolic Ionized Ceramics. You can combine 8 of these into an Inferno Vertex, so now there is a guaranteed way to get Vertexes if you are incredibly unlucky. A lot of people are going to be very happy about this, but do keep in mind that you need to use a Super Compactor 3000 in your minion for this as it drops on expiry. So what that means is, if you don't have an SC3K, you're not going to get this item, so make sure you do. Moving on, we have the Chili Pepper. They're a new item that drops somewhat frequently. You'll get about 5 to 30 of them per day, depending on how many minions you have. It is not required to be able to kill the Inferno Demon Lord, by the way, in order to run Inferno minions. So, as it states here, the Chili Pepper collection has 9 unique recipe unlocks with many consumables useful for all players. On screen now, we have Habanero Tactics. It allows you to heal more from wands, deal more damage with axes, scythes, daggers, and katanas, and without smoldering polarization, you have negative 15 magic find. Now, this is important as the reheated gummy polar bear, which you can see on screen now, grants you that effect. And as you can see, it grants you bonus combat XP from blazes and pacifies them while fighting the Inferno Demon Lord. A very nice buff overall. So the Habanero Tactics comes from Chili Pepper 7, and it's used with the smoldering polarization from Chili Pepper 1. And as you can see, Sulfuric Coal has an alternative recipe now, using the Chili Peppers, which is pretty nice. It will actually reduce the Hypergolic Abacool price, as stated here. There's also a new Jalapeno book, and some upgrades that you can put on the Overflux Power Orb and any other Power Orbs. Generally, this allows you to give it crit damage, crit chance, etc., although I don't really know why you would need to do that if you were, you know, that endgame. The Bit Shop got a couple new items, and they are pretty nice. As you can see, I have both of them, Champion and Hecatomb. Essentially, what these allow you to do is grant bonus XP for different things that you do. Combat XP for this, and Catacombs XP for Hecatomb. Now, the nice part about this is it goes all the way up to rank 10, just like every other stacking enchant. And as you can see, it can cap out at 10 extra combat XP, and the second hit on each mob grants plus 5 coins and plus 25 experience orbs. Generally, a really nice perk to have. For Hecatomb X, we have plus 1% Catacombs XP and plus 2% Class XP doubled on S plus runs. Grants you 8 health per 10 Catacombs levels. So if your Catacombs 50, while that's going to be a decent amount of health, it's going to be pretty nice overall. I'm assuming that happens before dungeon calculations as well, meaning it will be scaled up even higher. A bunch of bug fixes have happened as well, and that is the update. So yeah, a pretty major one overall. I think this is pretty great for the Hypergolic, Gabagool, all that stuff. 
is going to be much cheaper in the future. Many more people are going to be able to use Inferno minions, which is nice. I know I have to start investing more in that, and this is definitely the catalyst for me doing that. So yeah, great stuff overall from the admins, a bunch of nice recipes, QOL changes, additions. I know some people are going to be pretty upset about the Sar Armor changes. Those are, are pretty sleeper, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that's about it. On that note though, thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new and join my Discord down below. And look to the future, fellas, because I will see you then.